Oh my god, he's dead. What the? Oh my god, the freaking Pineco is dead. No, my god, there's a freaking Hummer. What the hell? And Professor's doing the jerk. He's just dancing and crap. What the hell is going on? Whoa, this guy's like F you, F you, F you. My new lab. He's like all confused and stuff. Yes, Bill and I, we're getting you a new lab. But, uh, hey, dude, do you uh, want to tell me what went on here? Uh, no, okay. Uh, I'm just going to go over here. And I was going to ask the Pineco before I was rudely interrupted by Mr. Banana Head over here. But his name is Nips. I don't care if it says Naps, it's Nips. Okay. Anyways, he's got a Teddy here, so it's the uh, first Shadow Pokemon in this game that you encounter. It's the only one, I believe, to my knowledge, that you're required to catch. But anyways, that little that little animation right there, um, that'll happen every time you encounter a Shadow Pokemon. And I'd say if you try to fight Teddy here, so it'll weaken it, yeah, you can't do it. Uh, but don't worry, because the uh, first Pokeball you use will always work without fail. But that little animation it does, where, where like the scanner goes over his eyeball and stuff, that, I swear to god, I thought they copied that from Dragon Ball Z when I first saw it. Because it looks like the little scanner that, you know, Raditz and Nappa and Vegeta had when they first came to Earth. You know, the, the over 9,000 thing, but apparently this Teddy Earth is just over 11. Yeah, his, his level is an 11, it's 11 plus, you guys see that? It's kind of nifty, but he's like... Was that a snag? I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. But anyways, uh, Teddy Ursa is a badass, and I'm gonna use it because Ursa Ring is just, just a monster. And Ursa Ring was also uh, one of my original favorite Pokemon. I think it was like one of my, f yeah, it was. I used to love uh, Tyranitar, Caesar, Charizard, Ursa Ring, and I think Fortress too. I think those are my original five favorite Pokemon. Look, he's just like, damn, what do we do now? It's a sad day, it really is. We've got little girls crying. It took the professor away. Don't cry, Jovi, he'll be okay. Sniff. We've contacted the police and the proper authorities about Professor Bill, they should let us know. I still can't believe this is happening. He pred Professor Bill predicted that someone will try making Shadow Pokemon. His prediction was right on the mark. The Teddy Ursa you snag probably isn't the only one. Well, obviously it wasn't, or this game would suck aardvark balls. Jesus Christ. But you think? And look, it gives a close-up of our mom's breast right here. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm not complaining and stuff. Well, that that's that's incest, so I mean, but... Okay, look, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> He's like... Let's complete it. We'll finish the Purify Chamber. And all of a sudden, the day is saved by the Powerpuff Girls. It's all good. Professor Lily's got it under control. Having come this far, we couldn't stop now. Oh, things will get very busy around here. Look at her just walk out with, like, that swag. She's like, yep, I just did that. But, uh, you know, I wish you to let Jovi sit there and cry because she's a little baby. But we're gonna go see what mom's doing, cause mom walked out like, mm-hmm. <gasps> the pine goes alive! Oh, thank God. I think she's upstairs in this room to the right. That you... Yeah, you guys remember that door that was on that that was in the the side of the office? Yeah, that leads to this room right here. Yep, she's in here. You can't access it from the other side, but you can access the office from this side. And now we get to go to Gate and Port to get the machine part. And Gate and Port is actually a uh, a really colorful, beautiful looking place. Um, and uh, it's got a, uh, a restaurant that's uh, from under the sea, as you'll see in a little. So Some of you might get the reference, some of you, you know, might not. But uh, they really, they made a really crappy joke. Ha, huh, you get it? Because Krabby's like crappy and you can't. Oh, okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna try this glitch again, too. Okay. Damn, damn it, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. As soon as I jerked forward, I screwed it up. Oh, my God. How come she gets to go in front? Yeah, that's more like it. Whoa, wait a minute, actually. It's kind of gross. Because if she goes in the if we go in the elevator, la well, if we... I'm not even gonna say... I mean that's that's kind of gross it's like 
you know, what went on in that elevator for her to be in front when we go down and for her to be in the back when we, uh, when we arrive, at, you know, downstairs. You know, something's got to go on in there. It's kind of gross. But yeah, I can't believe I made that retarded joke before. You know, that, uh, crabby joke, ha, huh? because crabby's like crappy and you guys might get the reference I'm making that'll be revealed in a couple seconds. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, uh, getting bored. Look at her, she's just like holding on to our nipples in the back of the scooter. Now, here's getting bored. Look at that, we got a lighthouse, and there it is. It's the Krusty Krab. There's the crappy, crabby, retarded joke I was making. And there's a gigantic scooter. I, see, I, I always thought, I always loved it how they made like a giant crabby. I always thought it was like a SpongeBob reference. Like, you know, it's like a crusty crab, you know, just above water. Look at her, she gets nailed by this guy right here. She's like, ouchies, Jovi fell down, you know. She looks up, she's like, oh my god. He's like, where do you think you're going? Oh, sorry, Jovi is already, and look what you've done. You messed up the happening look of Zerk. That's my troll voice, by the way. Look at this happening look. What is he supposed to be like the flash with that little lightning bolt on his, on his uh, on his shirt, you know, what is that, like a size small? What are you, like a triple double XL? With your steroided out ass? She looks like we'll be a million times more fun than that munchkin. Yeah. That's my troll voice. It kind of sounds, kind of sounds really awkward. Look at that, he's like matching his Zangus with the, Lee, uh, with the uh, little lightning bolt. You know, that Zangus got that little red thing on his chest. This guy's cool. Look, look at his haircut, too. He's got like a, uh, about a mile wide mohawk. The mile wide mohawk, you know, that actually sounds, actually sounds like a hairdo. I wonder if that is a hairdo. And look at, he's got like little streaks in the back of his neck and everything. Oh, by the way, I have no control over this battle. So if you guys are like, why are you killing the shadow Pokemon? You know, I, I, it's, we get to fight Zuck later in the game and then we'll capture Zangus. But right now they, they, they sort of just kill him. You know, I, I really can't pick the move or anything. You know, I, I can't really use both balls considering I'm not this blue-haired guy, the only tall Smurf in this game, and Smurf long hair. He's like, your power, where does it come from? I, I think you need to borrow our scanner, bro. Power level's over 44. You know, I kind of like that Alakazam. Should I give a chase? You know, I, I don't know if you guys noticed before, but in Zook's little context, uh, not context, dialogue, he's like, you meddling senior citizen, you know, who, I, sometimes I don't even understand why people like talk like that. This guy, he's like, what, what, what we had to do, had to be done, nothing more. But I mean, like, do you guys know someone in real life who talks like that? Like, you know, like, oh, Ned Flanders, like, hey, you neighborooney, neighborooney. Or like, uh, you meddling senior citizen, you, uh, you hit that girl in the face at a 45 degree angle due northeast. You know, you know someone talks like all proper like that, you know, and like, if I knew someone like that, I, they, they'd annoy the crap out of me. Like, I'd have to punch them in the face. Like, I don't know. I just can't take people who talk like that. So like, leave a comment below. Do you know someone who like talks like that? And if you did, what would you do? You know, would you like punch them in the face? You know, would you try to ask them, Hey, why do you sound stupid? stupid like you know like what would you do because to be honest i don't i i know what i do i just punch him straight in the face and say hey shut up just what i do i mean personally but uh head over here this is the parts store and now see this is really funny right here he's like look, look what he says shop crew isn't even got that clueless newbie to learn you know look after the store that noob But this guy right here, I love him. He's a very tall, masculine man with a lot of stones and stuff. And if you know what I mean by stones and shards and, you know, I don't mean he's sharded. I mean, he's got shards. Yes, we are raising it. Look at that fortuitous coincidence. He's got a water stone, thunder stone, fire stone, moon shard, and a sun shard. And now I've played through this game with each one of these evolutions. And I can tell you... The one you have the most success with is Umbreon, and that's what we're going to use. So I'm sorry I couldn't let you guys vote or anything, 
But let me tell you, you guys are going to love Umbreon. You're not going to regret the fact that I picked it. It's a really bulky uh, Pokemon. It's it's easy to raise, and it's going to go perfect with the, uh, the team I have planned out for us. And, uh, you know, it's not going to be, you know, the strongest Pokemon on our team, you know, attacking-wise. But we'll have plenty of uh, offensive-oriented bastards on our team. But anyways, I want to quickly evolve this Eevee, because it evolves after the first battle, just so you guys know. They made it easy on us, but, uh, so go over here. You don't have to fight this guy, but I'm just going to fight him. Oh, yeah, he's got a tattoo on his knuckles that says good, you know, what the... Why would they give tattoos to someone in a children's game? Good lord. It's also, like, uh, to be honest, you just get this fight out of the way now, because, I mean... Why the hell would you want to fight like a level 2 Wishmer and a level 2 Meryl or whatever they are, level 6, you know, later in the game, you know, when you're like level 30 or 40, like, you might as well get the experience now, but, you see that little, uh, see how Eevee's got its EXP gauge, you know, below its, you know, its HP and stuff, you know, like, you know, normally it does in a normal Pokemon game, but look at Teddy Ursa, he's got like this purple bar, now that purple bar is its uh, shadow chamber around its heart. When that thing is completely whited out and there's no purple left on it, you can purify a Teddy Ursa, but and make it back, you know, revert it back to a uh, a normal Pokemon. Uh, you're not forced to purify Pokemon, but you know you want to. And uh, just you know, while Pokemon is Shadow still, it doesn't earn EXP points, but it does. Like you can't level up Teddy Ursa. See, it says uh, you know, if you go to level 11. But look, Teddy Ursa doesn't gain anything. Well, what happens is, Teddy Ursa gain, you know, pretty much stores up all the EXP points. And it gains them back when you purify the Pokemon. So if Teddy Ursa has, you know, earned, you know, 100 EXP points from killing a Meryl, once I purify it, it'll get that 100 EXP points. But it can't get it, you know, while it's still a Shadow Pokemon. And look, Eevee's evolving! Bye, Eevee! We had you for an episode in like three quarters of an episode, maybe four quarters. Hello, Umbreon. You awesome motherfucker. I probably shouldn't have cursed there, but you know, I'm just exaggerating how awesome this Umbreon is and how awesome Umbreon is, period, in this game. This guy's name is Boss, too. Like, not Boss, Boston. What the hell is TM45? Uh, I think it's a track. Uh, yeah, it is a track. Wait, then what's TM42? I don't remember. Isn't it like... Isn't that like... No, it's not Iron Tail. Iron Tail's 28. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Because we got a track. Now, come over here and... Uh, whoa, whoa, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I don't know what my controller was doing there. That was weird. But, uh, this is Purr. By the way, watch this. It's so cool. He steps on the thing on the arrow in which way he wants the, uh, bridge to rotate. You know, these are the rotating bridges. You know, that's so awesome. We'll use these later in the game, because there's, like, some items and stuff near that lighthouse. And he, look at this guy. He's like, look what he says. He's like, Grandma should be so lucky to have a caring grandson like me. Meanwhile, the customer in the store, he's like, he got that clueless newbie to look after the place. You know, it's so funny. It's so contradicting. Now, this animation right here, though, is really crappy. Look at this. He doesn't move his arms or anything. There's no item clearly inside the vault. And all he does is walk back to us. And he doesn't even move his arms or open the cash register or anything like that. And apparently he hands us a machine part. But I don't know about you guys, but I did not see a machine part or his hands move or anything handed to me. So, I mean, I, I just, I think it's bad, you know, scripting on his part. But that's going to be it for this episode of Pokemon XD, Gale Darkness. And I, uh, I guess next time we'll do some more stuff. Alright, see you guys then.